Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Shamil from New Norm Smuet and in this video, I'm going to talk about the point-by-point -point method for the comparison and contrast essay and it's just going to be an overview of what the structure looks like so if you are new to writing in, in, in English and now you need to write a comparison and contrast essay and you are interested in the point-by-point -point method then this video is for you to watch so you can get a great understanding of what the structure looks like specifically okay let's learn all right in the other video that i did on the comparison and contrast essay for the block method i show this same slide uh, in uh, it's just uh, it has two body paragraph and each paragraph only focuses on one thing uh, for example, uh, in this uh, one, you know, body paragraph, uh, paragraph one would focus on the orange, oranges, and paragraph two uh, would focus on the apple. And that's for the block method. Uh, well, the point by point is what I'm going to talk about to you today. Uh, it's a bit different. Uh, from the block method the point by point uh, method talks about both uh, things you are comparing in each paragraph and they are going to be more paragraphs it would just be too like the block method so in paragraph one we are going to talk about one point in comparison and we'll talk about the orange the orange and the apple and then in paragraph 2, we will focus on a different point of comparison again. We will talk about both the orange and the apple. So, uh, so uh, as I stated before in the other video, the block method is a great way to start with. Uh, but it is uh, a little bit easier and it is more suitable for a short essay. Uh, the point uh, by point method uh, can go into more details actually and suitable for a long essay uh, uh, this method uh, the writer talks about one point of comparison between the two subjects in each paragraph just like I stated before in the previous slide so what does this look like the structure uh, when uh, what does the structure looks like when we begin there there's the introduction paragraph then you have the body paragraph with your point of comparison number one you have another body paragraph with another point of comparison another body paragraph with another point of comparison uh, and lastly you have your conclusion paragraph uh, you are going to be comparing oranges and apples you are going to find three things three points of comparison uh, and you are going to focus on each point in each body paragraph you are going to mention the orange and the apple in each body paragraph okay let's talk about the introduction paragraph the first sentence you are going to need is some sort of hook and that just means it's an interesting sentence that grabs your readers attention right away and say hey you are going to want to read this essay because it is super interesting then you are going to need to give some background information about the two subjects uh, so your reader understands that there are two things involved in this paper and lastly you are going to need a super strong thesis statement and in order to write one of those you are going to have to include uh, the points of comparison between the two subjects and then you also need to let the reader know if you are talking about similarities, the differences, or you are talking about both. Let's take uh, a moment to look at what a strong thesis would look like for a comparison and uh, contrast essay point by point method. I have done an, an example of thesis for similarities, differences, and both. Uh, to give you a better idea so let's say we are going to talk about similarities you can see the sentence there is 
the thesis sentence for that uh, it says both oranges and apples are a specific type of food grown in similar places and provide many important nutrients for human i have mentioned three points of comparison so it is that they are type of food number one they grow in similar places and three they provide important nutrition uh, nutrients so each of my body paragraph is going to focus on one specific point of comparison that is mentioned in the thesis and i will uh, go specifically in that in order as well now let us say we want to talk about differences our thesis would look like something like this compared to oranges apples originated in different area of the world comma grow in cooler climates and differ greatly uh, in appearance so i've let my reader know that the three uh, points of comparison are different area of the world where they originate or they originated uh, where they grow and they look uh, different their appearance is different and the reader knows i am focusing on differences right so i've used the word different area of the world and differ greatly to remind them of that so our thesis is very focused we have mentioned the three points of comparison and we have used the correct language to show the differences uh, now lastly let's take a look at what a thesis statement would look like if we were going to do both similarities and differences even though oranges and apples are different in where they are grown and where they originated they both are similar in how people use them three points of comparison two of those are showing differences and one of those is showing similarities you can do both uh, and i made sure uh, to use the correct language to inform the reader that when i use even though i'm setting up a contrast uh, right and i show that they i use the word different to indicate a difference and then in the second part of the sentence i say they both are similar i use the word both and then the word similar to signal to the reader I'm going to focus on similarities for this point. So there you have it. A thesis statement for similarities, differences, and for both. Okay, I would like to go over specifically what would be inside the body paragraph for a point-by-point -point method essay. So let's just say I'm going to uh, focus on the differences. And remember, those thesis statements I showed to you previously, I'm just using the same one that I did for differences. So let's say our main focus of our essay is on differences. And here are our thesis. Compared to oranges, apples originated in a different area of the world, uh, grow in cooler climates and differ greatly in appearance. So my three body paragraphs, uh, what are those going to look like? Well, body paragraph number one, point of comparison number one is going to be where they originated do you see uh, how i mentioned that first in my thesis it has to be the first body paragraph so there's no confusion and it's very uh it flows nicely when the reader reading it now that you met now you mention the orange first and then you mention the apple remember here in our thesis we mentioned our orange first and then our apple we have to be really careful with order in the comparison and contrast essay now what do you think body paragraph number two is going to be about well yeah you're right it's going about to be about the climate because that is the second thing i mentioned in my thesis and again i'm going to talk about the orange first and then i'm going to talk about the apple in comparison to the orange and lastly i am sure you know exactly the answer to this is going to be about their appearance because it's the last thing that i mentioned in my thesis statement and like the other body paragraph we talk about the orange first then we talk about the apple in comparison to the orange 
so you can see here there is a nice flow in order for uh, in order uh, and order to your essay and as long as you keep things consistent remember in your thesis the first thing you talk about is going to be about your, your first body paragraph and then you need to keep the two subjects in order if you talk about oranges first you have to talk about oranges first in each body paragraph okay so i thought it would be uh, helpful if you actually wrote out one of those paragraphs so you could see what it looks like in real life and remember our thesis is the one for differences and this would be the first body paragraph for this essay now this is a very basic body paragraph but uh, it also uh, you problem you uh, probably you would never write about apples and oranges something that is very uh, obvious for you to make the comparison uh, now we look at the second point of comparison which is cooler climates and the third one is the appearance now you might want to pause the video here for a second and read the body paragraph so that you have a better understanding of what I am going to say next okay great so you can see the first sentence that I write in this body paragraph talks about place of origin. So, we know the topic of this body paragraph is about the place of origin. And I talk first about the oranges and then I talk about the apples. And then when I'm talking about the apple, you can see that uh, I refer back to the orange. And I do that by saying... I use, uh, I use the transition word in contrast, which is also a great one to use when you are writing about differences. Signal to, your, to the reader, ah, they are going to show me a difference. And uh, when I say in contrast, comma, unlike the orange, so I'm telling the reader, hey, I know, I just talked about the orange and I'm going to tell you something about the apple that is different than this orange. I said the apple comes from Central Asia. So you can see here this very basic paragraph that I mentioned, the first point of comparison in my topic sentence. And I show that there are differences and then I mention the orange first and then I mention the apple in comparison to the orange and I make sure to use the correct language. Like if I am talking about the differences, I use different or differ. And then I also use a transition word to show the reader the differences. And lastly, the conclusion paragraph. How do we write this? Uh, well, we restate our thesis. Simple. And that's what uh, we, tell, uh, we tell the reader that we focus on similarities or differences or both. Uh, we just remind them of that and then our next sentence can talk about the points of comparison again but in brief and the three I remember in our uh, the three points of comparison uh, where they originated the climate they grow in and their appearance and their appearance and then we can give a final sen sentence uh, some sort of opinion or realization that we had after we analyze and compare or contrasted those these two subjects I would like to give an example of a conclusion so you have a better idea of what this look like. So again, you might want to pause the video here for a second and read this short paragraph so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about as I go through each sentence. Okay, uh, thanks for time, uh, taking the time to read. So remember, I said the first thing you need is to restate your thesis. Well. Here, I did that here and I made sure to use the transition to conclude, uh, to signal to our reader, hey, this essay is finishing, it makes it really flow, it, it flows really smoothly and I said oranges and apples have many different, differing qualities. I just used a little bit of a different language here and just to remind the reader that I was talking about differences. Uh, and then I mentioned that you can restate or talk about the points of comparison again. I wrote 
clearly this can be seen when the place of origin comma growing climate and appearance are all taken into consideration i just touch upon each point of comparison in the second sentence and lastly i'm going to have some opinion or realization about these two things and i wrote while both of these are often lumped together rightly so as root comma it is important to realize that these small but significant differences make oranges and apples truly unique and definitely fascinating to study as well as to eat so there you have it a short clear effective conclusion paragraph is very basic but it's really useful for you when you are learning how to write in english to see what the structure looks like in the type of language that we are using uh, okay there are some things i would like you like you to remember and that's number one watch your order order remember when i talk about in the point by point in the uh, in the thesis you have your points of comparison well you need to make sure this body paragraph match up to those uh, uh match up to those point of comparison if you mention something first uh it's got to be the first body paragraph also within your paragraph you got to keep the order of the two subjects if you talk about one thing first in the first body paragraph then you have to talk about it first in the second third and fourth however many body paragraph that you have for us it was oranges and apples and we always talk about the oranges first and then we talk about the apple you need to use that uh, uh you you need to use the appropriate comparison transition word i have a uh, maybe you can find a video on on how to use transition word yeah uh try to look at examples and lastly uh, we before we close let us review the point by point method for comparison and contrast essay so we have our introduction paragraph we have body paragraph one with the point of comparison uh, one and we make sure to follow the correct order and for us it was oranges and then apples and our point of comparison was uh, origin originate uh, origin of the, uh, the the fruits then we have the body paragraph number two is the second point of comparison and we mentioned the first thing and the second thing is in the same order as we did in the first body paragraph and then we have body paragraph number three again we keep uh, we keep uh, the same order and for us it was appearance and what they look like and then you have the conclusion paragraph so that's it you just need to really watch your order and use the correct transition and you are going to write a clear and effective comparison and contrast essay you can do this as always uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video uh, remember to like and subscribe our youtube channel new norms Mwet. thank you everybody